Hello, Underwood and Finch listeners. And indeed, anyone who may have arrived here by chance. Um, as I announced in a video last month, Underwood and Flinch uh, has been optioned for television. I also spoke about how there were still a number of hurdles uh, for the project to clear before it gets anywhere near, you know, becoming an actual TV series. But what I didn't say last time was that in fact the project actually has cleared a few of the hurdles already uh, and is now quite a long way towards becoming a reality. Oh yes. Let me bring you up to speed. So first of all, flashback to May the 6th, 2019, nearly four years ago. That's when I received the initial contact email I mentioned last time. Um, and this is the person who sent it. Now, I can't tell you her name at this time, but she's the person who discovered Underwood and Flinch as a potential television property. See the Hollywood lot there? The UNF mug? And isn't that cool? Underwood and Flinch in Hollywood. Sure, you know, it's only a cup, but still, it's an Underwood and Flinch cup. It's the words, Underwood and Flinch in Hollywood. I think that's pretty cool. So, after the story was optioned, the company that optioned it, and I'll tell you who they are later on in this video, set about finding production partners in, you know, making the show. Because as you may have noticed when you're watching a, a movie or a TV series, these things are seldom made by just one production company. Uh, you see one logo at the beginning of a movie and then you see another one and then another one comes up and possibly even another one. But for this project, because Underwood and Finch is set in Europe, the company decided to look for production partners in the UK. Oh, how lovely. I say. And they found them. A very cool company, very exciting. Take it from me, you know, the guru of all things cool and exciting that I am. Mm, too hot. Now, the name of that production company is confidential at this time, but if the series gets the, the green light, there will be an announcement and then all will be revealed. So, that was the first major hurdle cleared. Next, the newly enlarged US UK Team UNF TV sought out a writer for the series, or a showrunner, as they say, you know, in, in the industry. And they found one of those too. He's a BAFTA nominated British writer with a great CV, which includes, obviously, the show for which he was BAFTA nominated. And you may have seen this show, actually. Uh, it was very popular in the UK and was a big hit in other countries too. Um, I think for the producers, this writer was a natural choice for Underwood and Flinch. A number of people, including me, uh, suggested him because he was such an obvious candidate for the job. Though again, he remains under a shroud of mystery for now. But all will hopefully be revealed in time. So now that's two major hurdles cleared. But next came perhaps the most significant hurdles of all, the casting of the key roles of Underwood and Flinch. David Flinch was the first role to be cast. This was way back in late 2020. Back when masks were still en vogue. And Donald Trump was still president of the USA, you know, just to give you a sense of how long ago that was. David is going to be played by a British actor, very popular in the UK and indeed around the whole world. So I guess you could say he's world famous. And I think it's also fair to say, you know him. You like him. You're a fan. Oh yes. And so then came Underwood and the casting of this role was only finalized relatively recently, back in around October of last year. This time it's an American actor. He's very well known in the USA, but also internationally, since he starred in a TV show that you may well have seen on a certain popular streaming platform. And again, I'm going to guess that you could well be a fan of his because it's the kind of show that Underwood and Flinch fans might well watch. Indeed, both the Flinch and Underwood actors have good form in the fantasy and horror genres. I imagine, you know, they go to, to things like Comic-Con uh, and do those panel things where the stars all sit 
uh, on a, in a row on a stage and answer questions from hundreds of fans in big rooms. But anyway, again, these actors are shrouded in secrecy for now, but I can tell you this much about them. Neither of them ever came up in any of the fantasy casting threads that we've had on Facebook uh, over the years, you know, as to who should play Underwood and Flinch and Lydia and everybody else. These actors will come as a complete surprise to you. But when you learn who they are, I think you will be as excited about them as I am. They're going to have a, a great chemistry together. In fact, they already do, since they've met in relation to Underwood and Flinch, and I'm told they have a, a great rapport together. So, assuming the show actually gets made, I think you're going to love them. And that is where we are now. All those hurdles have been overcome. And that's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? However, it is not over yet. There are still more hurdles ahead of us. The show is not in the bag and nothing is guaranteed. But if you subscribe to this YouTube channel and or to my podcast, links below, I'll let you know how things develop, even if it all comes to nothing, which hopefully it won't. So let's hope then that Team UNF TV continue to do amazing things and, uh, and get this show of theirs, of ours, over the line. And that Underwood and Flinch, the TV series, finds its way into all our homes on TV in 2024. Or maybe 2025, you know, I don't know how long these things take to make. Stay tuned. Oh, I almost forgot. I said earlier on that I'd tell you the name of the studio that had optioned Underwood and Flinch, didn't I? Oh, well, uh, it's Village Roadshow makers of the Matrix movies, the Sherlock Holmes movies with Robert Downey Jr., Joker, Mad Max, Fury Road, and many more. Which is fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. It's my dog, she wants her ball. 